today we're doing a quick review of the Rough Country 270 degree awning. In case you have found a deal on it and you're curious, is it worth your money? Depending on the deal, it may be. 270 degree awnings used to run you $700 to $1,000 easy, but recently they have dropped in price quite a bit. I, I think they're worth the money in a lot of conditions. Now I paid $270 for this one off of eBay from Rough Country directly. It came to me as a scratch and dent model, but it was basically brand new. So I saved a bunch of money and I appreciate that. So $300 delivered to me to my door. Was it worth it? Well, let's open it up and check it out. It's also gonna be 101 degrees today here in Florida. So it's highly recommended to not be outside in the sun. One wonderful thing about 270 degree awnings, if you've never used them before, is the setup is wonderful because this is it. This is pretty much it. Now these do come with a ratcheting mechanism here to tie this down on the end to tighten up the thing. So you just pull this rope tight and it pulls it tight. And then to unlock it, you just pull it up. It's a great mechanism. So hook this to the end of your awning, hook this somewhere on your roof rack and pull it tight. And that's it. Now the awning's set up. So here's a look around from the bottom side. The awning does come with a single pole. It doesn't need it for good weather. Uh, this is freestanding, which is wonderful because once again, easier setup. It does come with Velcro along the entire thing. So if you do want to buy the walls kit, you can add it. I never will, uh, but it does come with the option. It also comes with these tie downs so that in windier conditions, you can stake this down, use that at the beach and it works wonderfully. It also comes with additional pole mounts. So you can put a pole on each thing if you buy a pole and do it yourself. I did notice mine has a rivet uh, that was never done or it was painted incorrectly here. Um, doesn't matter to me, but it may matter to somebody else. Maybe that was the scratch and dent and why I saved a bunch of money, which is fine. Another tie down your pole. Pole's very easy to use, just unhook. And then it's your typical telescoping uh, pole, which I'm not gonna set up with one hand, but I will shortly. And there's all your coverage right here. So it comes around the back of the truck completely and then a good amount along the side. This is all aluminum construction, so you don't have to worry about it rusting out on you. All aluminum, gusseted, welds look fine. I'm not a professional welder, but if you are, maybe you know. Dropping this pole in place is real easy. It's a telescoping pole. You've probably used these before you have any awning. Twist it out, drop it where you need it, lift it up just a bit and tie it in place. And now the awning is supported by another piece. This is SPF 50 rated, which is wonderful for this Florida sun because it's, it's literally a war crime of how uh, aggressive it's being in only June and May. Not, not a fan. Here's everything the awning comes with, our one ratcheting strap, which I honestly would like another one. So I might see about getting another one. Three tent stakes, three ropes to tie it down. And then this is mounting hardware, which you may or may not need. Um, I did not, but it does come with it. And then a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter wrench for each side. So they give you everything you need. And then all comes in this carrying bag, which uh, it, I mean, you close it by tying itself together. It's fine, it's made out of the same material the uh, awning is made out of, so it should last a while. This is how it mounts to the roof rack. Four bolts on these chunky, chunky L brackets. Four bolts from the awning itself. Four bolts from my aluminum extrusion. Means this thing, you know, is not going anywhere. And out legally can't. Now one of the better things of a 270 degree awning is the setup and teardown. It's actually my probably favorite thing besides the coverage. So let me show you how quick it is to tear it down. So undo your hook. I'm gonna let this just sit here. We'll put that away later. Put up our pole. And just close it up. In this position, we're just going to want to roll the fabric up, just like this. 
and now there are hooks or the, for the buckles. You just wanna make sure these are out from the back before you uh, close this completely because it will get locked in and then you won't be able to dig them out. So pull those out, wrap this up, and then just hook it in. It's easier if you loosen the buckle and then tighten it once it's buckled. And put the cover on. And that's it. That's how easy it is. It's great. This outside canvas is rip stop uh, like 600 D. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's held up fine for two months. Really, uh, we're gonna do a long-term review and basically leave this on, see how it holds up in the Florida sun. We're going into summer, so hopefully it holds up fine, makes it through, because I'm assuming uh, Arizona, Florida, Southern California, this thing would take a beating. So we're gonna test it out and see. And there you have it. There's my quick little review of the Rough Country 270 degree awning. I like it. I'm a fan. I keep it up there 24 seven because I use it quite a bit actually, just at home uh, when I'm working outside. So big fan, highly recommend if you can find a good deal. It's probably the same as every other brand coming out of the same factory in China, but for 300 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Uh, my monkey brain likes seeing the number go up. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. There's two fighter jets. They have the whole sky. They couldn't fly anywhere else.